Hey guys, KR here. Well, it's finally Sunday, and you know what that means. Time to record and answer your questions. So, I'm really happy about everything that you have all asked me, and I'm especially happy of the comments that I got from everybody else in my other videos over the course of this week, or last week, I should say. Um, uh, well, I love reading your comments, and I love reading your questions. It makes me happy. So, without further ado, let us get into the questions. And, oh, as you guys probably noticed, I am now animated here on screen. Um, I'm only going to be doing the animation whenever I do a Q&A session. And now that my subscription level is kind of high and, well, near 200 already, I was originally planning on having a Q&A every 100 subscribers, but because it's rising so fast, I might change it to every 500 subscribers, we're going to get another Q&A. So when we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to have another Q&A session, and when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to do another Q&A session, and so on and so forth. Alright, so time to get into the questions. First question, um, I'm actually going to be reading this off, uh, because I've got my video on my phone on YouTube, and I'm reading off the comments for how they're ordered here on my screen. So, uh, let's get into the questions. First question by Dale Mail 5000 I don't even know what to ask. What is your favorite color or your favorite food? Well, my favorite color is actually green. I really like the color green for absolutely no reason. I just, I just do. I like green. And my favorite food happens to be uh, black olive cheese pizza. And I really like it. I like the bitterness of the olives. And I just like how it ties in with the pizza. It's really good. All right. Next question by um, Odyssey. Um, Odyssey. Uh, I, I don't know. I apologize if I pronounce names wrong. Um, but the question is, do you like animes? And my second question is, how do you download Minecraft mods? Um, well, for your first question, I love anime. In fact, here on screen is a few of my favorite animes that I've seen. I was trying to put all of them in, but I couldn't because they're all so big and I love them all. Um, I don't know which one is my favorite, though, because, again, I love every single bit of anime that I watch. Um, and with your second question, I don't know how to download Minecraft mods, I'm sorry, but I did some research for your question, and there is a link in the description of a video tutorial on how to download Minecraft mods, so I hope that helps. Next question by Mangus Vage is, what is your favorite band slash artist and do you play games? Yes, I do play games. Um, my favorite bands and artists, um, I kind of like, uh, punk rock bands and sometimes even motivational rock, like here on screen, I've got Skillet, Three Days Grace, Nickelback, Linkin Park, Evanescence, and Breaking Benjamin. I really like those bands, they're kind of my favorite, because I like those, I like rock music. I was going to put some other music on here, like the Beatles and stuff, but you know, these guys are more of my favorite bands because, well, I like their music. Most of it is, like, motivational stuff, and I really enjoy that stuff because I got a kind of okay life here at home. So I try to keep myself motivated by listening to their music. And, um, <clears throat> do I play games? Yes, I do play games. I play a lot of games, especially video games. Um... I like to play some online games like Undertale and Yandere Simulator and even Five Nights at Freddy's, like the whole series. The next questions are from NB1023, and they are how and when did you come up with your username or avatar? And the other question is, do you play video games? If you do, which ones are your favorite? Um, well, I kind of just answered the video games one, um, but... For the ones that are my favorite, I would have to say that Pokemon is my favorite because there's nothing that beats the feeling of 
going out on an adventure and catching creatures that you have no idea what they are, but they're super cute. And even the mo more awesome ones and the really big ones, they are awesome! Because, like, but like, if you're a new trainer and you're going out and you get a Pokemon, for me it's Froki if I'm in the Kalos region, and Chimchar if I'm in Sinnoh, because those are my two favorite regions. Um, and just having them grow and change into different shapes and forms, and even having some of them mega evolve, that is like the coolest thing ever for me. And I, I'm a total nerd, so I have to love Pokemon. <laughs> um, and the other question, how, when did you come up with your username or avatar? That's a good question. Um, I actually didn't at first come up with my name. See, my friend Holo and I, um, when we were younger, when we were in middle school, actually, we came up with names that we would call each other, and, um, we wanted them to be wolf names, and we both liked the animes, um, Spice and Wolf and Wolf's Reign, and she pointed out to me that I really looked like and acted like Kiba, so she started calling me Kiba, and, um, I, well, with the name Reigns, I, uh, basically took the I took the title and I made it sound like a last name so like you know Reigns is a last name I even looked it up it is a last name um and with my avatar character well because I liked Spice and Wolf too and because I named my fox friend Holo well Holo um I decided to go with a wolf girl because I really liked Holo's design one in Spice and Wolf, not my friend. I mean, I love my friend, but yeah, I, I'm messing up. <laughs> um, anyway, I really liked um, Holo's design in the anime of how she has her ears out all the time and as well as her tail. Instead of just changing from human to wolf and back again into um, with Wolf's Reign, or I should really say illusions, but anyway. I really liked how they did the um, ears out and tail out all the time for Holo, so I stuck with that. And I looked around for any animes that are like this one, um, and I found Liru the Werewolf. I don't really approve of her clothes, at mainly her top, but I do like her boots, so those are pretty cool. But yeah, I really liked Holo's design, so I ran with it. All right. Next question is from Kambudu. Um, how tall are you? Weird question. I know. L-E-L. -E -L. <laughs> um, I'm actually pretty short. I am five foot three. So, um, but hey, at least I'm taller than Tom Cruise. So, I mean, I'm only three inches taller than him, but come on, it, it's something, you know? <laughs> um, next question from Hender Player. Favorite Nintendo IP and or character, assuming you are one. Um, I am not one, but my favorite Nintendo IP and or character would be Pokemon, and my favorite Pokemon would be Eevee, because Eevee is super duper adorable, and I love her, and, you know, she can evolve into different forms and different types, and that's really cool! So, yeah, like, Eevee can be anything she wants. I find that awesome. Next question from Blake Gronley. Why do you hate math? LOL. Um, <laughs> I hate math because math never liked me. I always sucked at math when I was in school. And I honestly just prefer drawing. So I didn't really pay attention in math. But I somehow was able to pass all of my math classes. I know that's really weird. But yeah. So... I passed. <laughs> Alright, next question from colon one two three players. What species of wolf are you? I'm actually a brown wolf because there aren't many out there and I really liked how most characters that with brown hair look. For example, Haruhi um, Fujioka in Warren High School Host Club. I really liked her design and I especially liked her hair color. So most of the characters I like do have brown hair, like Kiba from Wolf's Reign, and a lot of other characters I really enjoy. They all have brown hair, just like me in real life. So, um, 
I stuck with my brown hair and I decided to be a brown wolf because, again, not many are out there and they're really cute. They're, I mean, all wolves are cute, but it's awesome. All right, next two questions are from just a random tracer. I hope I said that right. Um, how did you discover ASMR and do you play any sports? I discovered ASMR by um, actually just looking around YouTube. Um, I was uh, actually looking through some things and I discovered um, the username Jiggy Wiggy ASMR and I fell in love with the stuff that he did. And then I saw Cardlin Audio's channel and then I saw Grey Knight Erotica and even others like um, Gale Force ASMR and some other ASMR channels that I really enjoy. Um, so I decided, you know what, there aren't very many female ASMR artists who um, hide behind the microphone or hide behind the camera. So I figured, why not do that? And here I am now. Uh, do I play any sports? Yes, I do. I actually, I mean, I'm not a sporty person myself, but I did play sports that I enjoyed when I was in high school and even middle school. I actually was a bowler and a wrestler during my high school years. I wrestled for my freshman year of high school and I bowled my senior year and they were both awesomely fun because I got to meet a lot of new people, I made new friends, and I had a blast and I actually cried during my senior year um, because it was the last time I was going to be at high school and I was going to miss my friends when I moved away to college. It sucked. <laughs> All right. Next, um, from Shark Man, what kind of music do you listen to? And secondly, do you make did you make a New Year's resolution? P.S. Thank you for the videos and stay awesome. Oh, thank you. See, these are the types of comments that I really enjoy. Um, I mean, I love all comments, but these are the ones that really make me smile. Um, what kind of music do I listen to? I listen to rock music mostly um because i'm a i'm i'm a nerdy punk girl <laughs> um i mostly just listen to rock and sometimes like classic rock like the beatles because i grew up with them my dad had me and my sister listen to them in the car when we were young my sister hated them but i really enjoyed them so i started really liking them learning more about them and i grew attached to them and then the first rock band I ever listened to was Skillet, so I fell in love with them, and I'm actually even going on a going to see one of their shows later on this year, so I'm really excited. Um, my New Year's resolution: uh, make more audios because I didn't do a whole lot um, last year, and I definitely want to do more this year. Um, our next question is from Sky the Shanks twenty one. Did you fix your laptop or get a new PC, and will you plan on doing ASMR or change to another topic like gaming or other? I got a new computer, and it's running great. Um, I don't know if my microphone needs to be replaced, though, because I noticed in a lot of my audios that my voice is kind of um, kind of echoey, and maybe sometimes you might have to turn up the volume in order to hear me, so I apologize for that. Um... But yeah, I got a new computer, and it's running great, and I'm able to download all the games and stuff that I, and even all of the recording equipment, like, all the programs that I have, like Audacity, I use that. Um, yeah, and it's pretty cool. It's running great, and I hope I can use it for a pretty long time before I have to get a new one. Um, and I plan on doing ASMR for my whole channel since... Um, I do have ASMR in the title on my channel and on my pages um, because I've tried to do gaming before and it doesn't really work out for me. But like maybe I might go to gaming sometimes if I ever find the right programs to download on my computer to um, actually have what's on my screen going on on your video like how a lot of gamers use like PewDiePie and Game Grumps and all those other famous YouTubers. Um, but for now, I'm going to stick with ASMR because it's awesome. All right, our next question is from Jacob Montoya. 
Uh, and it is, do you see yourself ever creating new characters to do in the future? And how long does it usually take to come up with a script? I create characters all the time. And in fact, I have one of my favorite characters on screen right now. Um, he's actually a superhero that I created. His name is Glacier, or Connor, um, in his civilian form. And actually, I was inspired by Elsa from Frozen to make him. And um, before anybody asks, I didn't really like the movie. Now, don't hate on me for this. I just... I didn't like the movie because of the plot. It didn't make sense to me at all. I'm a writer, and honestly, it was all over the place. I couldn't keep track of anything. But, um, anyway, I created Glacier because I was inspired by Elsa, and just like her, he has ice powers. But only this time, his powers are based on a stone that he holds, and not something that he's born with. And I'll get into his backstory and everything later on in a video if ever I decide to do a whole video just describing all of my characters. Um, and it usually takes me a couple days to come up with a script and then maybe a couple hours to really write one out. Um, I'll be honest though, sometimes I just improvise a lot of the things that I write. Like, um, uh... Like when Holo and I did our Who's on First bit, we, um, <laughs> we of course, um, have that written by, uh, Abot and Costello, and brilliant comedians, I love those guys, they're funny, um, but we had that, and we may, we mostly improvised a lot of the things that we said, like the part where we're really confused and when she's really angry at me. I was originally going to say we're going to cut that out, but uh, I remembered we were still recording, so we just we just rolled with it. <laughs> but it only takes me about an hour or so to really write out a script, and especially if it's one that is like really deep meaning to me, like if it's something in connection with one of my friends or even with... Um, something that I've been dealing with personally, it takes me a pretty short amount of time. But if it's something going on in the world, for example, my 2017 thing, that took me um, about two hours really to come up with it, and it usually takes me a longer while to record. Because I, I mess up a lot, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of dyslexic. That's why I have glasses, and that's why I get my character glasses. <clears throat> All right, anyway, next question is from Shire Julian. If you could go back in time and be in any movie, which movie would you be in? Second question, what is on top of your goal list that you want to achieve in 2017? Hmm, if I could go back in time. Um, I'd go back in time to the 1960s Batman movie with Adam West and Burt Ward, and I'd want to be in that movie because... I mean, Adam West is so cool. He was the original Batman for crying out loud. And, um, I definitely want to be in that movie. I'd probably want to be, not an antagonist, I definitely want to be a protagonist in the film. Maybe like, uh, one of those, um, one-time characters. Like when Lee Merriweather was the one-time Catwoman in that movie. And she wasn't anywhere else in the entire series. It was either Julie Newmar or Eartha Kitt. But, uh, yeah, I'd want to go back into that movie. And my top goal for 2017. This might sound a little, um, kind of braggy or selfish, but I want to try to hit at least 500 subscribers, if not 1,000 subscribers, by the end of the year. Because, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm kind of jealous of some of the ASMR people that came bef that came before me, like Cardlin Audio, Jiggy, and even Jack, Green Eyed Erotica, if you don't know. Um, because they have thousands of subscribers and they've been here for longer, of course. But you know, my goal is to get at least five hundred or one thousand subscribers by the end of the year because I want to say I did it. I got here. And you know, with all of your help and all of the subscribers that I've been getting so far, it's been really great and really heartwarming to know that I am actually 
working towards a goal and that I'm also helping people who listen to my audios. So thank you very much for everyone who listens to my audios and even comments below because uh, it warms my heart and I love you all so much. All right. And our final questions are from Jason Voorhees. Are you happy with what you do? And follow-up question, what do you want to do with your life? I am very happy with what I do. I get to create audios for all of you who listen to me either just ramble or talk or even just try to help you get to sleep or something. I love doing the ASMR stuff and I love all the responses that I get from everybody. And yeah, that just ties into what I said before. I absolutely love doing what I do. And I plan to do this for the future. Um, But what I really want to do with my life is uh, mainly become an animator. Or just do something in voice acting. Or both. That would be great. I'd be like Seth MacFarlane. But, you know, not, uh, <laughs> not uh, creating adult shows. Like Family Guy or American Dad or The Cleveland Show, just to name three. But I do respect Seth MacFarlane and all he's done, and it's awesome to see how far he's come, and he's been on Fox for years. I cannot compete with that. Yet. But, um, that's all our questions that we have. Um, thank you all so much for... <laughs> thank you all so much for asking the questions and commenting and showing me a whole lot of love and support and to show even more of my love and support for all of you I have a surprise now instead of just posting an audio every Saturday and Sunday I'm going to be posting a patreon reward on my patreon page at the end of every single month and of course I'm going to do that because I really love you all, and I haven't really been posting anything on my Patreon, but I have been linking it into the description of all of my audios. So, um, what I'm going to do for my first Patreon reward is actually going to be a surprise. So, um, if you guys want to see it, please donate to my Patreon link is in the description and if you guys have any more questions and don't want to wait for the next Q&A to learn about me you can go ahead and find my Facebook page in the description as well and check out my um, Facebook page and you can send me a message and I will happily respond I love answering comments and I love seeing comments on my YouTube videos and I even love knowing that I've got that I've got some followers on SoundCloud as well, and and, uh, and even my Facebook. Uh, it just it makes me super happy, and I can't express my gratitude enough. I'm actually crying happy tears right now. I'm so grateful. Um, <laughs> I better go before I start turning into a blubbering mess. Um, but yeah, please. Um check out my Facebook page and even my Tumblr because I'm going to be more active now that I've got over 100 subscribers and I want to get more and I want to be more out there. Um, so if you guys want to do fan art to my character, please do. I absolutely love seeing fan art that people have created for others and I've even created fan art with myself. So I'm giving you guys permission to do fan art of my character if you so choose. Just Remember to let me know so that way I can see it because I want to see what you guys have created. <sighs> Alright, I better go before I start crying waterfalls and, um, just, uh, I can, I can't really speak anymore. I'm so tired. I mean, I'm not tired. I'm just, I'm, I'm happy sad. I'm sad happy. I'm whatever. I got happy tears. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all so much again for sending me all these questions and sending me so much support via the comments and everything else. I love you all so much. Thank you. I will see you all next time. Bye.